Hi guys, I'm Cliff from Off The Cliff and today I'm with my dad and he's going to teach us how to make mango to carry. Right now what you're not seeing is that we've cut up eight mangoes um, through the pit and cut them up into small little pieces. So let's start. Okay, so you heat up your pot. You get some marula oil. So it's an olive oil. I would throw for about eight mango. You're gonna throw about half a cup of oil. Because you want the you want the mango to be moist. Now you ready? to add brown sugar. Pull it. So we add about three quarter white sugar. All brown sugar. All brown sugar, which one you have. Yeah. So you wait until they start getting brown. Okay, the reason why we put so much sugar because we want the mango to get sweet, tasty. And the mango have to be almost half ripe. Not the best. The best. Not green. You can see it's almost half ripe. It's the best you use. Keep turning the sugar until it gets brown. As you can see here, it's starting to turn brown along the edges. You want all of the sugar to turn brown. So in essence, you're, you're uh, stewing it. Yeah. Now you can use brown sugar too. Brown sugar is better, but I don't have the brown sugar, so we use the white one. Okay. It's almost the same thing. Okay. They start getting brown now? Yeah, it's nice and brown. Well, that took all of uh, about five or <clears throat> five minutes to become brown fully. So as you can see here, it's actually turned completely brown. Now, does it have to get darker than that? A little bit more dark. Until you're going to see it going to bubble up. The sugar is going to come on top of the oil. Not good yet. We have to get more. More dark.
Oh yeah, all the uh, sugar is starting to come up yeah. above the oil. Yeah, that means it's packed almost ready. See on the spoon it's still white, that's yeah. no good. It's become brown. Now, see how the sugar is bubbling up now? Yeah. On top? Yeah. Now we're ready. Okay. See that? So you're gonna put uh, garlic, onion. Okay. No, no onion. Garlic and pepper. Turn them up. Roll down the heat. So in the sugar, we put. Uh, wow. Well, we put about uh, eight peppers. Now you throw the mango. <laughs> we put about eight habanero peppers and nine cloves of garlic. And now we've just added the mango. Nice. Look at my color. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, that look beautiful now. See that? Okay, so now, and next, we have salt. Average, I average it to your taste. I average about... Two tables, or two teaspoons. I'd say that's a tablespoon. Or one tablespoon. Yeah. Two. For that amount? For now. Oh, now I could use this. Where did you add? Now, I'm oh. going to add. You don't have the name on it. No, that's okay. All, all spice from your So, oh. that, that's one. I'm going to use OTC all spice. Everything spice. Spice. Everything spice. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a new yeah, average. Up to you. Salt. We had that. No, nope. we can add a little bit of black pepper. All right, so we got uh, we have some everything spice, we have some salt, some black pepper. I'm gonna just cook. Add a cup of water, two cup of water. Add two cup of water, so we can cook that down until it gets soft. You can send me that video. Too. Yeah, it doesn't take me as much video as I No, it's nice to get multiple angles, right?
keep it on high heat. Carve them up until the mango gets soft and all the water burn out. That was my mother helping. So you cut. What I'm doing here is I'm just mixing up the pot a little bit and ensuring that nothing is sticking at the bottom. It's all bubbling up nice. The mango start getting look. Oh, it's starting to get soft. Yeah. See? So the mango has to get soft. Until the mango don't get soft, well, you have to let it cook. Now it's almost ready. So I'm going to remove the cover and let it just cook down. Because I don't want all the water. All the water has to, to burn down. Okay. So I would leave it with high heat. Keep turning it every five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. It's all getting soft. Yeah. So you want it to kind of melt soft. Okay. You see the color is nice. Yeah. Let it just water boil down now. Okay. Alright. What I would do, I would just taste it to make sure it has enough salt in it. You don't want it salty, you want a nice kind of sweetish taste. That's why you put the sugar. So I would taste it. Pretty good, but I'll still add a little bit of salt. Very, very good. Tasting very good. Awesome. So you're still going to add a little bit more salt because it needs to, to have... To my taste. You can add it salt to anybody taste. Okay. Then I'll add another pinch of salt again. And that should do it. You have enough seasoning, enough spice, everything. Perfect. So this is mango de carry. Mango takari. Mm. And this you could take one piece, one slice like this. And put it in anything in heat. You have it. Right? Yeah. You could put it in your curry. You could have it in the side. It's very tasty. So you want to water boil down. Keep turning it until it's good. Now, do we add anything else um, to this? Oh yes. The secret is coming at the end. Okay. Not right now. Because the mango has to get really soft first. Yeah, and the, add in, the last ingredient is in the end. Okay. So aluminum pot is the best thing for this. But not the thin pot. So I advise you to get aluminum pot. You see the thickness? It's almost one eight. 
Eric. more than one eight. It's about three eight, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's about three eight. It cooks better. And as you can see for the pot, it's seasoned because of years of cooking. And that will happen to the pots that you purchase. Yeah. But right now this pot is burnt. That's why we get this color in the black. This pot is about 60 years old. So you can see my water is almost coming to an end now. Still have about a couple of hours, but that's gonna burn out very fast. So in the end you gotta keep turning. When it's almost done, you can see it's soft. See that? Yeah. It's soft. So you wanna keep turning so the water will all burn out fast. Yeah, it's disappearing quickly. <clears throat> when it's all done, you can put this in two toasts and you have it for breakfast. Put two slices. So at the end, when it's almost done, I like to crush mine. I like to cut it, the big one. See, like this? Yeah. And just go with the spoon. To allow all the flavors to get in. Exactly. Just mash it up so that it's going to be whole. It's almost ready. And this whole time it's staying on high. Yeah. You see how soft it looks? Yeah. Look how beautiful it looks now. No, not only look good, it tastes good. Okay. So you see, you could see now the water is almost dry out. And you could see the little, the gravy is kind of very thick, almost thick. Caramelized. So you want it, when you know the water is burnt out, you can hear the sound on the pot. Look, you see it's all dry and the gravy is thick. That is from the mango. The Th that was my mom talking to you in the background. <laughs> so now, look at that. You want know to eat a nice piece of mango. Takari, look. Yeah, it's beautiful. Keep turning until you 
the cut till it start hearing the swizzling from the pot. See that? Then you know it's gonna be good. You see all the gravy coming thick? Yeah. And it's almost ready. So I had to load on the heat for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna turn it back up a little bit to medium until I think it's ready. Because I don't want to leave no water. I can leave it I don't want much water to leave. You're gonna get some because the gravy out a little bit. But the less water it has, it, it's gonna stay longer in the fridge. And you normally it just lasts for about three, four months in your fridge. But I wouldn't advise you to make too much. About eight, ten mango is perfect. So you could use it every two, three months, you can make another dish. Unless you make a lot and freeze it. It won't okay. last three or four months in our house. Okay, so you can see now, my gravy is kind of pretty thick. There's no water in the pot, on the bottom of my pot. So all I'm going to do now, I think that is perfect. Now it's turned off. But soon you turn off the heat, next step you want to do is the secret spice. I would add the cheese masala. And turn off the heat before you put it. So you add about one, one tablespoon. I'm not tables one pot spoon. You turn it. Turn it. It smells so good. Isn't it? Mm. No. So you see now you're gonna see nice kind of dark brown. Now do you add anything else? Yes, we're gonna add a but I See, it's good, but I want to add a little, um, a little bit more. A little bit. Average. I average when I cook in. I I don't measure. But one pot spoon, you got a pot spoon and a half for eight mango is perfect. So I think this. Is, you can see the color. You can see the masala. See that? I see. You can see the dark brown? Yeah, that's awesome. So that's what you want to see. Then I probably I will add a little bit of uh, my jeera to give it a little bit of flavor, not much, like a little pinch. Okay, two pinch. Two jeera, pinch. jeera is cumin. Okay, so now we're going to turn that up. Mix it up. Isn't that so beautiful and tasty? This is what it tastes. This is a hundred years old recipe. And there we go. So that, oh, after you're all done, you can have a taste. See how nice, easy to cut? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's supposed to be seaweed. How is it? It's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. You should let it cool before you put it in your mouth. <laughs> but it's really, really good. It's good? It tastes fantastic, Dad. See? Thank you. And that's what you got. This is our dish here. And you can eat it with anything as a side dish. You take one piece and you have to enjoy it. Enjoy it with your meal. There we go. After that, I recommend you to cover it for at least a couple of hours before you start eating it. Because it's too hot. And there we go. It's very hot. <laughs>
I can attest to that. <coughs> spicy hot? No, it's really nice. It's actually, yeah. uh, it's not overly spicy. It's uh, got a nice flavor. It's but put your pepper to how you want it. Very hot, you could add a lot of pepper. But I like it nice and mild. It put around, we put around eight um, Jamaican hot pepper. And it was perfect. Like two head of garlic, wash it, make sure it's washed, and that's all the green ingredients you need. <coughs> yeah. This is what you need OTC, all spice, perfect tasting. Now, the end, a nice drink. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Tr Trini rum. And there we go. That's the end. Thanks, sir. <laughs>